Let me tell you a story. Something happened in uh, 2001 while I was in the military, and this is all regarding critical illness cover. I took out critical illness cover in December 2002. That was the day when I finished my 22 years in the military, British military, finishing off as a warrant officer uh, in Her Majesty's Forces. However, prior to that, on the 1st of October 2001, I had what the military classed as a left frontal infarct. Something happened up here somewhere, which, um, which put me in hospital for a couple of days. A few tests, got sent home, nothing further to report. Therefore, the military wouldn't pay any compensation for me when I came out because I was all OK and fit. I then decided that my 22 years in the military was over and decided to take out some critical illness cover because I'm now a civilian and nobody's going to look after me and my family. <sighs> Got in touch with a couple of companies and one of the questions I was asked was, have you ever had a stroke? Well, as I'd never been told I'd had a stroke, I answered the question as no. Therefore, I filled in all the rest of the, the documentation and went into paying the normal routine of £50 a month for myself and £25 a month for my wife. This was ongoing for a number of years until in 2008 I had a triple heart bypass and prior to going to the hospital I phoned up the, the um, insurance people who was called Friends Provident I hasten to add and asked them was I covered and to be totally sure they got back to me sent me a letter saying yes you are covered so I went into hospital leaving my wife and my children in our four bedroom detached home in Lincolnshire on the understanding that once I had my operation I could come out the insurance money that was paid out would have continued paying for my life expenses for the duration of time I was home convalescing. In the August I put in a claim when I came out of hospital and I was fit again to, to work etc for my insurance which i would already told that I was covered for. I got a letter back effectively from Friends Provident stating they didn't want my business anymore and gave me back my seven years payments of £50 a, a, a month with no interest, no nothing. And the only explanation is we don't want your business and we don't want your cover. I took this to the financial ombudsman in the UK and beat this. The UK um, ombudsman actually stated that what they'd done was not illegal. It was just very highly immoral. Now, it's gone on to the fact where, since that's happened, I have lost everything, all of my worldly possessions. My four-bedroom house has been lost and taken away from me. I'm now living in rented accommodation, and we was actually declared bankrupt. And the bankruptcy was finished on June the 23rd, 2010, which was last month. I'm making this now purely because I, f I still have the frustration with Friends Provident, seeing that their business is taking on and handing over to, to new ownerships, etc. And still with a, the gut-wrenching feeling that my family and I have been done out of an amount of money which was rightfully ours. Now, that said, if we'd have taken the, uh, the explanations that they said that I had a stroke in 2001, then I would have said I'd had a stroke. Being ex-military, I'm not harping on the fact of being ex-military, but being ex-military does make me feel like um, when I'm asked to do something, I do what it says on the tin. Therefore, if I've been told I had a left frontal infarct, that's what I reported, that's what I had. Other than that, I feel that we've been wrongly done by, and I hope as many people look at this, see it, maybe not act on it, but realise that um, critical life cover is not what you think it's going to be because they are going to rip you off and then they will give you back your payments like they did to myself and um, with no form of interest, with no other interest other than their own bolstering up their bottom line. Now, that said, the other instance on all of this is my wife was also covered at £25 a fortnight, uh, sorry, a, a month, which we was paying for her. Once they'd done the dirty on me and cancelled my policy, I then asked them to do the same for my wife to try and get me out a bit of a, a, a flat level spin. They then said, no, you're getting nothing and cancelled the policy in its entirety. So that, people, is just beware 
that pe companies like Friends Provident, namely, in the UK, are the ones that have, uh, have sold us down the Swanee and took our house away from us and everything else. I'm not shedding no more tears. I've shed too many. There isn't any more to shed. So on that note, I'd just like to say, be aware of Friends Provident. Have a nice rest of your life.